Hello, I am Alexander Wilson. I am a part of the Colorado Military Academy Cadet Squadron, and today I'm going to be talking about my project for the pro well, project for the Project Shadow Star. It's going to be it was a jelly bean. So the testable question was, how would the jelly bean's color be affected by it being exposed to increasingly high doses of radiation? And the hypothesis was, if the jelly bean goes higher into the atmosphere, it will become a different color. And the hypothesis is supported by data that I researched. So the reason why the jelly bean will become this color is because the ultraviolet light rays break down chemical bonds that make the jelly bean colorful. So my experiment was about um, starbursts. We had four different starbursts, two with the wrapper and two without a wrapper. We wanted to see if the radiation up there would change the color um, more without the wrapper or less um, with the wrapper. So when we got them back down, we saw that the color didn't change for either of them. They both stayed the same. But what did change was the texture. So next time we do this experiment, we'll most likely test the texture instead of the color. So for our experiment, we were sending goose feathers, or a sample of a goose feather, into the, uh, the stratosphere. And for our testable question, if the goose feather goes through the stratosphere, what will happen to the physical appearance of the goose feather due to the change in temperature? Hypothesis. The feather bristles will fall off or break off due to the changes in temperature. Is the hypothesis supported by data? Yes. During experiment, the experiment flight did make the feather bristles fall off the quill. The feather was distorted, um, meaning our our feather, right? The quills, the um, the feather itself would fall off the the, the quill, the bristle. <laughs> and um, how would you improve your experiment? The next experiment would be if we were able to dye the feather and see if the color changed. I think this would happen due to the uh, UV radiation rays in the atmosphere. I think we could try it with maybe different types of paint or different companies type of paint to see if it, if it changes lead based paint or another type of base paint would work. So our experiment title was Wax Marshmallows and what we did was we had two marshmallows where we covered them in wax and then we had two plain marshmallows to see how much it changed and what ended up happening was wax ended up cracking but it didn't crack that much and it still caused the marshmallow to shrink and get deformed. Hi my name is Cadet Jacob Mestis and we were doing a project called Project Stratosphere and we were doing a test of the, the coal but well, well what we thought was coal but now it was slate and when we launched it up into space or somewhere there, it didn't burn as well as a coal would. And when it came back down, it was just like more, more of a white rock. Joe Kinger was a pioneer in aerospace and pushing his body to the limit. His advancements with high altitude balloons, setting a record of the highest al the altitude balloon and the highest free jump from. 102,800 feet. Him supporting this challenge is supporting future pioneers in aerospace. What do you do with the grant money? What we would do for the grant money is we would use it to purchase more learning materials as well as model planes, model rockets, and textbooks. We would advance our education to higher levels cover things that aren't covered in the aerospace module. We could have guest speakers come speak to us about potential careers in aerospace and more about aerospace. The last thing that we would do is we would use our grant money to support our efforts in the Star Explorers competition.